Gates is pushing for answers in the aftermath of a tragic accident on a Boston bridge. Our Karen Anderson was the first to reveal that the city had been warned two months before a streetlight fell on a woman walking by. She's here right now with how the mayor, Karen, is reacting to that warning. And then Mayor Wu is standing by the city's response to a critical state inspection report that highlighted problems with the streetlights on the Moakley Bridge. The report came back as needing attention, but not in urgent emergency. Mayor Michelle Wu defending the city's response to a warning about deteriorating streetlights on the Moakley Bridge two months before one fell on a 35 year old woman walking by. The city received a state inspection report August 1st. No work was done, but a consultant was asked to come up with a plan. Do you believe sending the report to a consulting firm was the appropriate response? My understanding is that the overall report came back with a rating that the poll was in a certain condition that needed attention and action in the years to come, but not it wasn't an immediate identified as an immediate crisis in that moment or an, a structural emergency. It was given a rating of fair. The report shows Wu is right. The streetlights called lighting standards were given an overall grade of five or fair. But a closer look at this 72 page report shows that doesn't tell the whole story. It identifies eight poles with holes in the metal and it gives these poles what's called a deficiency rating. They got the second worst deficiency rating available S for severe major and the urgency of repair marked as A for as soon as possible. Do you think more should have been done right at the time rather than just sending it to a consulting firm? The report came back as needing attention but not in urgent emergency and so the city took action within two days of that to engage experts. The poor conditions of the streetlights was even separately flagged by a state engineer. In an email delivering the inspection report to the city's engineer, he singles out one issue, writing, some of the streetlights have 100% section loss at the bases. The city followed all of what we um, were advised to do. We are now, now that we've had a situation happen, taking even more precaution and making sure that we can uh, go above and beyond what any report has said so that we can keep everyone safe. And Boston City Council President Ed Flynn says he will be holding a hearing in the next 30 days to investigate what happened, why the streetlight fell, and what the city's own inspection process is.